For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Monday, July 11th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. A Newfane man has been charged with the July 4th burglary at the Harmonyville store in Townsend. Vermont State Police identified the individual seen in the surveillance video as 31-year-old Scott Clark. On Saturday, Clark was located, arrested, and transported to the Westminster Barracks for processing. Clark was released on conditions and is scheduled to appear in Vermont Superior Court, Wyndham Criminal Division, on August 30th to answer to the charge of burglary. The Vermont Department of Health is working with towns and nonprofit groups across the state to distribute at-home COVID-19 tests. Letters have gone out to solicit potential interest among community groups. The state, also I should say, the state ended mass testing for the virus last month. At-home tests are also available for sale at area pharmacies. Vermont state primary election is now less than a month away as statewide candidates continue to court potential voters. Democrats had primaries for U.S. Senate and U.S. House, plus Lieutenant Governor, Attorney General, and Secretary of State. Republicans have primaries for U.S. Senate and U.S. House, plus Governor and Lieutenant Governor. Both the Democrats and Republicans also have contested primaries for Wyndham County's state Senate seats. Vermont will host an international workshop on agritourism later this summer. The conference is scheduled for August 30th through September 1st in Burlington, featuring educational sessions, poster presentations, hands-on workshops, farm tours, and networking events. The State Agency of Agriculture says registration has opened for the event and scholarships are available. WTSA Sports, what a weekend series at Fenway, has last night the Red Sox scored nine straight runs to come from behind and beat the Yankees 11-6 to to earn a split in their four-game series. J.D. Martinez and Christian Vasquez each homered for Boston, who actually now face Tampa Bay uh, in Tampa tonight. Brian Bayo on the mound for Boston against the Rays in Tampa this evening. The Yankees have today off before hosting the Cincinnati Reds for a series beginning in the Bronx tomorrow. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television, on this Monday, July 11th, have a safe and tremendous day, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.